We are in the land of foxes where rice farming and agricultural activities are still kept alive with much enthusiasm by the villagers. During the Portuguese era, Goa's economy was entirely dependent on agriculture, which later was replaced with industrialization, mining, and tourism. The state government keeps floating various subsidy schemes and incentive programs to boost and encourage this fading sector among the youth of Goa. As per the villagers of Saligao, the tendency to keep the soil fertile takes a vigorous effort throughout the year, and eventually this painstaking method, low profits, and increased labor costs have disinterested many to other sources of income. In this video, we will cover the stages of rice cultivation which has many takers globally and make Goa's fallow rice fields may be a working reality once again. Land preparation is done usually before the monsoon. It is done manually with the help of traditional or with mechanical equipment. This is also done so the monsoon water is distributed equally in the entire field and the excess is navigated out. The planting season starts in the beginning of monsoon. The first step is to prepare the seedlings from seeds. This is done by submerging the seeds for 24 hours in water, then incubate the seeds for another 24 hours. Seeding can be done in two ways, direct seeding and transplantation. In this process, the seeds are directly distributed evenly all around the water-soaked field. The most common method of rice farming is transplantation. This is mainly practiced in areas where the soil is fertile and receives abundant of rainfall. A small portion of the field is prepared for casting the seeds. Once the seeds are placed, they are then well nursed and is allowed to be grown for 20 to 22 days with maintained water levels of about 2 cm. After completion of the period, it is then uprooted in bunches and replanted mainly by hands in rows with enough spacing. Prior to the 1950s, the use of organic manures like farmyard manure, compost, and green manure is the oldest means of nutrient replenishment in Goa. Fertilizers are commonly used nowadays as they provide effective nutrients for the rice plants and high productivity. They are used during the period of direct seeding, which helps the roots turn healthy and builds resistance to the weed. Urea fertilizers are considered as economic nitrogen source and is used after 20 to 25 days of replantation depending on the amount of rainfall received. Weed infestation is a chronic problem in rice cultivation. The loss caused by weeds ranges from 30 to 40 percent, including quality deterioration of the grain. The first 40 days of the crop is the critical period for weed competition. The weeds can be effectively controlled by using chemicals, but the farmers in Goa usually uproot them manually. Weeds called dono, that looks like a rice plant, bimlo, chitsond, corvo, and orvai are commonly found in the fields. Rice harvest is done mainly when 85% of the rice crops are ripened or have a golden yellow color, usually done within three months from the start of plantation. In Goa, due to government initiatives and support, the harvesting is being done by machines provided by the state. This is an efficient and economical method. The crops are cut and the seeds are separated from the plant. There is also a conventional method which the farmers use hand tools like sickle and knives to cut the crop. 
This is a tedious method and requires a lot of time and hard labor. In Goa, no curry or banquet is complete without rice. Apart from that, many traditional varieties grow here. Indeed, rice has pride of place at every Goan meal.